Friends and family, we are gathered here in the sight of God as witnesses to unite Trenton Lee Hodge and Kiana Michelle Kemp in marriage. I used to look up at the stars and get jealous of the sky. And I wonder what it's like. Trenton Kiana, as you prepare to take these vows, give careful thought and prayer for as you make them. You're making an exclusive covenant with each other and with the Lord as long as you both live. Did they know it was the start of a lifetime? Cause I invite you to stand in honor of the bride. Trent, it is absolutely no surprise to me that we're standing here today because I knew from the beginning that God had put you into my life to be my person, my husband. I feel like the luckiest woman on earth because for so long before I knew you, I prayed for a man exactly like you to come into my life. From the very beginning, we have built this relationship with Christ as the foundation. And my prayer for us today, as we start our marriage, is that we would always keep God at the center and never stop encouraging each other, especially when it comes to our faith. In James chapter 1, it says that every good and perfect gift comes from above. God has given me you, the most perfect gift and answered prayer, so I fully trust in Him to care for us no matter life circumstances. Ken, if someone spends more than five minutes with you, they're going to learn that you're a beautiful person. Knowing you has made me a more caring person, made me a more trusting person, and overall a better follower of Christ. I can't imagine getting to spend the rest of my life with anyone else. As your husband, I promise to love you the way the Bible describes love, not the way the world does. Well, Trent and Kiana, because you have exchanged sacred vows, it is my honor and privilege you are now husband and wife Trent, you may kiss your bride. One day I walked into work and she said, best friend, there's a boy. I paused for a second and I said, oh, I know him. My friendly neighborhood 12 year old. I grew up with him. His mom and my mom have been best friends for like 30 years. You know I'd be picky about who got to marry you, but he passed the test and he didn't even have to take it. I want to share some things that I've learned in my nine years of marriage. Keep God the center, love hard, laugh a lot, try new things. The sock that misses the hamper will not be there for you to pick up one day. Start by realizing you're not perfect, but you have chosen to love being perfectly imperfect together. 
It's all about growing with God, growing with each other, and choosing to love every day.